Here is a chunk that I showed you previously on one of my Thrift Saturdays episodes and I'm currently just keeping the tank equipment here is the heightened system that helps me to change water real fast. Today I will be changing this into a small table. I purchased these legs on Amazon and I'm planning on drilling the holes on the bottom of the box and fixing these legs here to make it a, like a little tiny side table. So let's see how it goes. So this is all the equipment I need. I have a drill, I have four washers and four nuts, I have four legs and the white caps will go back onto the um, screw part of the leg once I install them. Let's see. So first I want to mark where I want to drill the holes for my legs and I need to mark them on the same distance so I kind of use the pen to mark the space I'm going to measure with the ruler to make sure they're in the same they are in the same distance where it's needed to be in a corner. <clears throat> so I use the ruler to make sure that the hole is going to be in the same distance from each side of the trunk and they actually um, actually fell into the first marks that I made pretty well so I was pretty happy with that but then I just drilled the holes and the size of the drill I had to go up the size because the um, the screws in the legs were a little bit too big so I had to insert bigger drill bit and kind of like widen the hole a little bit more Here I have two paints, my very early chalk paint and white and an elephant. I am going to first cover the trunk with gray paint and then do the whitewash like I did on my stand over there. Let's start. First I had to scrape off the residual from the picture where we were attached on the surface 
from the truck to make it smoother. I just use the regular kitchen knife. You can use a um, sanding machine if you have one. I have one, I just didn't feel like bothering with the mess. So I ended up taking it outside for a quick spin with the sander to just make surface nice and uh, sand it for better adhesion of the chalk paint. I decided to keep original hardware as is. I like this patina on the metal. It looks nice, old and rusty and once I'm done with painting and making it kind of whitewash, sort of like farmhouse design, it will fit right in. Even despite sanding, you can still see the outlines where the pictures were glued on the original box. If this is going to be the case after I do the whitewash, I will probably end up um, either stenciling something on the top or maybe using like a paper clay and mold some something. I don't know what yet. Okay, after applying the first coat of gray paint, I decided to try stenciling and I mixed a little bit of white chalk paint with baking soda to create a little bit of uh, raised kind of texture as effect so that the texture would cover up the damage that still can be seen through the lid. The reason I didn't want to send the lid too far because the trunk is made out of some sort of cardboard and vinyl. It's not a wood trunk. So I didn't want to uh, completely send it down to nothing. That's why I'm using the stencil here. So let's see what happens next. I'm not sure I'm going to like it, but I'm going to try. Okay, let's see what happens here. All right, I think I needed to add a little bit more baking soda into the paint mix to create a little bit more texture. In this case, I will go over with a small brush and just add some. But on the other sides that I will be making later, I will mix more baking soda into the paint. Okay, here I added more texturized paint. It doesn't look too bad. However, I can see, still see some lines here on the left. I'll show them a little bit closer. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to leave it as is or if I want to do something else. If you guys have any ideas, please comment below and uh, let me know what would you do in my place. And here is the final results. I used a matte varnish to spray on top just to fix the paint to prevent it from uh, falling off because the white parts do have a lot of baking soda in them. It did give nice texture, however, 
I'm not quite sure if I'm really 100% happy with the results. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.